Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is a B&M haul. I don't think I've ever actually done a B&M haul on my channel, um, which is strange. Um, I've done home bargains hauls and everything like that, but I've never done a B&M haul. Um, recently, I've got a new B&M that's closer to me, which is open, so it's been my guilty pleasure recently to go to B&M. So yeah, I'm gonna show you everything that I bought from B&M today. I'm, and recently, I've been going to B&M and Home Bargains I say quite a bit, I have been going quite a bit, but I haven't been really doing any hauls because I've either included, included it in a vlog or I, it's been Christmas presents, so I wouldn't didn't want to like show too much in, in, in a video, do you know what I mean? So um, today I've finally got some bits for myself um, and for my room, so I'm gonna show you. But don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're new here, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And yeah, let's see what I got from B&M. <laughs> I've got my lights off in my room because it's not, it is kind of a dull day. It's been raining like all, all morning. I think it's finally actually just stopped, but it's a pretty dull day. Um, and I was gonna leave the light on, but actually I've turned the brightness up in my ring light and turned the light off and I think it's looking okay. So I'm hoping the lighting's all good for you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start on like the big things because the reason I went to B&M today was because I wanted to get things for my room, shelves, because at the moment I currently still have nothing hung on my wall. So I've been looking up, I've, I've been looking for a while, like I've been in there recently and I've seen some that I wanted, but I didn't get them yet until I knew I needed them. Well, until I, you know what I mean, like until I was paid, until like, there was no point in getting them a few weeks before and then them just being sat around my room waiting, like they just take up space because they're big items. So let me just find the receipt so I can like show you how much everything was. Okay, so I just went and got my receipt for my bag downstairs just so I can like reference how much everyone, what everything was. So the first thing I got is this shelf. So I've been wanting one of these hexagon shelves for like ages. Like I've been, yeah, I like, before I got my room being decorated, I always liked them, but I thought, oh, my room's never, I'm never really gonna have enough space on my walls to do that. So I never thought I'd have one, but obviously now that my room's been decorated and all, everything is off my walls, I thought I can kind of start on a blank canvas and then put on things like this. So I picked up this. Um, this is in a rose gold colour, as you can see. Um, and I just love it. I don't know where exactly it's going to go. It'll probably, like, on this big wall here. I don't know. But that's something to figure out later on. Um, but this was £15, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I picked up that. And I also picked up these two little ones. So I ideally wanted the same colour. Like, I wanted this in the same colour as that. But they didn't have it. They only had this one in rose gold and they only had these in black or gold and obviously rose gold and rose gold and gold is different so I didn't want that because I thought that would look really odd but I thought if I had this like maybe this in the middle and then these one there's two of these so the pack you get a packet of two I think they were six pounds um you get a packet of two of these so I thought I could what I could do is put this in the middle and then have a black one either side and then it wouldn't look too bad it would look like I'd like meant to do that do you know so I mean? yeah that's the shelves that i bought for my room so the next thing i got is actually a clock i never really i never planned to put a clock in my room like it wasn't something i went in to look for but when i saw this and it was such a bargain this was three pounds three pounds for a clock and it's a nice looking clock as well i saw it rain on it from earlier um like i just thought it was so nice with the old um numerals so you can see the ring light in the reflection and it's this um blush kind of baby pink color and i just thought how nice is that for three pounds? Like such a good bargain. So I love that. The next thing I got are these baskets and they are three pounds each. And I decided that I would pick up three because I've been wanting some new baskets to go in my wardrobe for ages. Cause all my, my old ones are getting a bit like, they're getting a bit tatty now. And I just thought it'd be nice to get some new ones. Like a bit, makes it nice and refreshing. Um, and I've been going in there recently, like looking, when I was in there, I've been looking, but I didn't find anything that I really liked or thought that would match in my room. And then I found these and I thought they are quite nice because first of all, I really like the round shape. They're quite different than the other ones because my other ones are like more rectangular. I don't really know how you describe that. But um, I just thought these were really nice at three pounds. And I like the way, I just like the whole shape of it, to be honest. I guess, yeah. So three of these for nine pounds, I thought was a real bargain. So that's those. And then basically the rest of it is all kind of random bits and bobs that, you know, you didn't really need. 
but you picked up anyway, you know? So to, while we're talking about things I definitely didn't need, but this is a bath pillow. So I saw this and I was like, wow, like a bath pillow. And it was, it was £2.50, £2.50, I thought that was a bargain. So I do make myself laugh though, because I went in there and I have like a, in my room, like one of those Glade refreshener things that you put the little refills in and then it spritzes um, and I was gonna get some. And then I looked at the price and it was £3.99 for two of them. And I was like, £3.99, I'm not buying that. I'm not spending money on that. <laughs> so I didn't get them. And then, because I did think, to be honest, I thought they, they were cheaper. I swear I used to buy them from Home Bargains and they were like two pounds. So I was like, £3.99, no. But then I went and picked up a, a bar pillow. But oh well. I really thought this was quite cool. I've never seen anything, anything like this. Like, it's got little suction things on it that you can like push up against your, um, like the back of your bath or, well, I guess the wall, I guess. Um, and yeah, you sit in the bath and you, like it's cut comforts the back of your neck while you're sat in the bath. I was like, wow. I'm guessing it's waterproof. It doesn't say it's waterproof, but I'm guessing it obviously it's made to be in the bath, so it's not, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, I really liked it. They had this in, um, this pink one, and they also, I think they had a gray as well. Um, I just thought that was cool. The next thing I picked up was this little jar. Again, something I didn't really need, but I really just thought it was really cute. And I like the fact that it says, saving to see the world. And I just really like that because I am saving to see the world. I mean, I was anyway, COVID kind of put a hold on that. But um, I just like, really liked it. It's a little money jar. It was £1.99 and I just thought that would just look really cute in my wardrobe. It would just, it would look cute as well. And you can put your pennies in there, pop my little tips in there and I can save up. The next thing I picked up was a Zaflora. Um, I'm obsessed with these. Like I'm not really into cleaning, but I really love a Zaflora. I mainly just pop it in my bath. Like after I've had a bath, I rinse the bath out and I just put it in and it makes the bathroom smell really nice. I really like doing that. Um, this is one I've not used before and it's called Winter Morning. So recently I've been trying a few different ones. I've tried Winter Spice, which I, I like, but it's quite strong. Um, so I've used that. And then I also bought, I think, Midnight Blooms. Um, I'm not sure if I like that one. It kind of reminds me of my grandma. Like it smells very like old person smell. I don't know if I like that one. So I picked up this one. Um, this one's called Winter Morning and I just thought that'd be perfect for now. Um, let me just smell it again. Smells nice. I don't know about you, but I always want to smell these in the shop, but I know it's really dangerous to smell them in the shops. I think there was a story once that someone that's went to smell it in the shop and the lid was the lid was off and then it burnt her face. Um, which isn't good. But I mean like I don't like to buy them if I'm not gonna like the smell. Do you know what I mean? Um but yeah, I think this one was, I think it was £1.99, this one. But it's um, not the small one, but it's like a medium size, so £1.99. Next thing oh, yeah. is a Imperial Leather Foam Burst Shower Wash. I love these. I think they're about £1. I think this is about £1.70, £1.80. Um, oh, I can see it there. £1.79. Yeah, I just love these. They make, I love having this in the shower. It makes me feel so clean i just love the way it foams up like i love a foamy wash i feel like other i don't get it when shower gels don't really foam up i just need that next we've got a little carmex i've never actually tried carmex lip balm before but i thought i'd get it because recently i've had really dry lips um not really dry but quite dry lips and i thought i really need to just pick this up and carry it around me with me because i always find that i end up going towards like lip balms that i've had for ages and that's probably not good for your lips and not great it probably doesn't have the same effect but this is just the Carmex Moisturising Lip Balm and it's a strawberry. So I thought I need that. Next thing, Kirsty, if you're watching this, just click off for like 30 seconds. Um, this is a little um, gin gin and gin and tonic um, and it's by the brand Opia. Is that how you say it? Opia. Um, I really like this gin brand. So I bought this, this little, it's a little mix of gin and tonic and I bought that just to add, add to Kirsty's present. So that's that. And I think it was £1.99. And I just also, I just love the packaging of it. I just think it looks so, so cool. Next couple of things are kind of what I bought when I went in and I was kind of drawn to these. So the first one is just a chicken pot noodle. I don't, no, it's not a pot noodle. It's a super noodles. I don't normally buy things like this, but um, our kitchen's being redone and I haven't really, we haven't been able to go in. So I thought that'd be good for me to have later on before I go to work. Um, so I think it was like a pound, maybe less than that. And then the next thing, again, for the same reason, but I was drawn to this, is a mug shot. 
but it's not just any monkey art. This is a festive Christmas dinner flavoured monkey art. So I just saw that and I felt like, I was like, I really need to try that. I think it was about 30p, but Christmas dinner mug shot. That's so cool. Um, it says dried pasta with carrots, cabbage, broccoli, cranberries, and sage. So it's nothing amazingly special, but I thought I'm gonna try that. So make sure you subscribe so you see vlogs because I normally try things, like different things like this on my vlogs, so yeah. And while we're talking about presents, well, we're not talking about presents anymore, but we were talking about presents. Again, we're gonna say Kate will be watching this. Kate, um, Kate doesn't watch my videos. So this is a bottle of vodka that I bought for Kate because basically um, I bought her for her Christmas present. I'm not talking too loud because she is in the next room. I bought a little like gin infusing set and basically you buy it. It was from Tesco's, it's like seven pound. It, it looks really cute. And then you add a vodka to it. So I picked up this to go as like part of her present. So that's what that's so about. usually buy vodka, not gonna lie. And a few more things, um, we have a, body a bath a bath um a shower and bath gel this is the carmex unicorn magic and i just love these and they're like a pound and i just think they're so good why is it so liquidy it's gonna be liquidy Haley, but i mean yeah and then we've got um some coffee this um i've had this before and it's a pound it's so good it's like because we've got a little coffee machine so it's a pound and it lasts quite a while and we quite liked it it's just in the medium roast ground coffee and it's like three strength um because i don't like my coffee to be too strong so i just thought that'd be really good i thought i'd pick that up for when we run out so and then the final two things oh an email and the final two things in my bag are a hand cream because i was running low on hand cream i say that i probably wasn't running low i probably got so much that i didn't realize i had um but i thought i'd pick it up it's like and a then pound. the last thing i got is a bit random but it is some um, sea salt because um Everyone says that apparently see, when you clean your, your helix pier piercings or just pier piercings in general, um, sea salt, salt is supposed to be really good for your piercings. So I hope this is okay because I, this is just coarse sea salt. Um, I don't know if that will work or not, but I just picked that up because yeah, and it was like a pound or something like that. So I just thought that'd be good because my I had my, my earrings pierced, like my helix is done over a year ago now and I still get problems with them. So I thought, I might give sea salt a go because I've got like a spray that I use at the moment and it's good, but I thought I might just give this a go, see if it helps. So I spent a total of 53 pounds and 56 P. Um, that's been quite, a, that was quite a lot for me recently, but um, pretty much all of the, the, most of the big things were um, things for my room. So I'm happy that I've got all of that for my room. Make sure you stay tuned um, on my vlogs because I'm sure I'll be showing you when all of these shelves are on my room and how it looks. So yeah, that is the end of my B&M haul. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up, subscribe down below and turn on the, the notification bell. And I'll see you very, very soon for a new video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.